Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back for a What Sold video. Two videos ago was my What Sold on Poshmark last month. Uh, in August, and now I'm doing what's sold in August on eBay. I told I sold a total of 165 items overall on all my platforms, so I'm super excited. And overall on eBay, 42 items were on eBay, and multiple sales over like $300, $400. So if you want to see what I sold and what to be on the lookout for, guys, then stay tuned. <laughs> This is the month of August what sold video only for the platform eBay. I'm gonna share my numbers really quick for all the platforms for the entire month of August, which I was really happy with the number that came out to be. I sold 165 items on all my platforms, like I said before, and it's loading right now, but what I use for all my bookkeeping is List Perfectly. It's an amazing cross-listing platform, but it also has sales analytics and bookkeeping stuff so I can print out at the end of the year all my tax information, what I spent, what the fees were, all the good stuff, so every time I have a sale, I input it there. Um, and if you want to use List Perfectly or try it out, you can use the code WhySoThrifty and get 30% off your first month. It's literally a game changer, lifesaver, everything, all of the above. So without further ado, I'm so excited to announce, I announced this in my last video as well, but this is eBay, not Poshmark like the last video. I'll link the, the Poshmark sales video down below. Um, but my whole month uh, sales number before fees, taxes, or fees like shipping, everything, on all platforms was seven thousand nine hundred and thirty-five dollars and four cents. My goal is to get to ten thousand. So let's see in a few months, but next few months I can do that. I'm really happy because my profit margin was above fifty percent. Um, cost of goods was a thousand forty dollars and seventy cents. Shipping costs were seven hundred and eight dollars and twenty cents. And fees or other costs were 1986.01. And I'm trying to look up more in this video instead of just looking at my computer. Also, I got a comment from my last one saying, slow down, you talk too fast. Slow down, you crazy child. I sing in real life. That's literally what my friends tell me to stop doing, but I will never stop. Um, and then my profit for the month was $4,200.13. I'm happy with that. Let's get into it, I'm so excited. So what I'm actually going to do is start at the last day of the month of August and go to the first. Because I do think like some of the most exciting ones are towards the end of the month. So I'm going to start with those. And I'm going to pop them up on the screen so I'm going to move over. If anybody wants to buy this gorgeous like vibe dress, it's like a heavyweight, uh, thick fabric, metallic dress. I'll tell you the brand if you want to know. Comment below. It's so gorgeous. But the, fir the first thing that sold, last thing of the month that sold, but first thing on the list, I'm going to try and share as much info as I can without making this video too long. So these are a pair of dance goes. I got these in a thread up box and the cost of goods per pair for that box was $8 um, with everything that I listed because I didn't list all of them. I donated some. These were $7.91. They sold for $41.60. Okay, so I listed them at $60. I'm going to kind of share that too if I can. Sold for $41.60 on eBay. Shipping was $12.29 and fees were $7.91. And my profit was $13.40, which I'm not mad at, because a pair of Zara shoes from that box sold for $95. Doc's, Mar Doc Martens, I think, sold for $50, and, which is in here. Um, so a lot of stuff in that box made a higher amount, so it just evens out with mystery boxes, you know. This next sale was my most exciting of the month. My eyes just went crazy. That was a weird-ass face. But this was my most exciting sale of the month. I think that... Yeah, wow. Wow. Over $400. This is my highest sale of the month, almost of all time. My highest sale of all time is $500 in some things, in some change. Um, but yes, yeah, so this was an Abercrombie & Fitch Y2K Slant Rock Vintage Brown Leather Aviator Flight Jacket, small. And it was in great condition, had a few scuffs, but it was genuine leather, so heavy. I felt it at Goodwill. It was $30. I paid $30 for this at Goodwill. It was on a day that I just stopped in really quick when I had time. And um, this was the only thing I picked up. And literally, I listed this for $425, and with shipping, it sold for, shipping included, it sold for $428.35, minus the fees, which were $75.31, eBay fees. Shipping was $56, because it sold to someone in either Italy or Mexico, or somewhere international. And, um, yes, I was so excited for this, and my profit for this, literally, was $267.04, guys. On an Abercrombie leather jacket that's a mall brand, I guess Y2K is really true. If you haven't seen the Abercrombie documentary about how Abercrombie, like, back in the day, was toxic to work there, and they didn't want to sell to, like, people that weren't, like, super skinny, and they were homophobic and racist and all this crazy shit, 
I think that documentary made Abercrombie do better, which is kind of fucked up, but it's crazy. So I will pick up Abercrombie. I don't love wearing it for myself. I don't. I just really don't like their clothes, my style. But also, yeah, I don't want to support that. But if it's already made clothing on the resale market, you might as well sell it. So that was crazy. This next item was from the same thread up box as the dance goes. These are Doc Martin, uh, the combat boots in a size women's eight. Okay, these were from the next thread up box because I paid five dollars for these. My listing price was eighty nine dollars. They ended up selling for sixty three dollars and seventy cents on eBay. Obviously, everything's on eBay this month. Um, fees were eight thirty nine. Shipping was nine sixty four, and my profit was forty dollars and sixty seven cents on a $5 pair of shoes that was delivered to my door and I didn't have to drive because gas prices are crazy. I'm happy with that. Next pair I was so excited about, um, this like secret connection in LA that I have that supplies inventory, I will never share it. It's this guy who, I think he used to be a reseller or something, but opened a brick and mortar store and has amazing deals. He has 50% off days sometimes and I'll like message him and ask him when the next one is. I got a Burberry coat that I think actually sold on Poshmark in my last video. No, it sold in September. So you'll see that in my next month's video. But this Burberry jacket sold for $200 that I got that day. And these D squared, two D squared jeans, moto biker jeans with paint splatter, really good quality, retail for a crazy amount. Um, I paid $23.83 because they were half off. So they originally marked it at like 46, um, whatever. Um, I listed it at 175 and it sold pretty quickly within like a month. Um, for how much I got in re the return for my profit, it sold pretty quickly. Um, total sold price was $131.60 minus um, the cost of goods, $23.83, minus fees, which were $16.09. Shipping was $17.21 for those pair of jeans. So my profit on one pair of jeans that I got right at store right next to my house was $74.47. Super happy with that. I'm going to try and pick it up and pick the pace up. This works from the bins. It was this random hat, but I liked the front had like a wicker woven like straw material it was a brand it was Tuskegee Airmen embroidered mixed media hat um and hook and loop closure it was velcro but you cannot say velcro on ebay if you want a video of what you can't say on ebay from me of the stuff that i know of then let me know comment below and i'll make it um i got this at the bins so it was like a dollar cost of goods or whatever it says zero cost of goods in here but must have been like a dollar or less um, the fees were, oh wait, okay, so I'm all over the place. I'm just so excited. It sold for $19.90. Fees were $4.36. Shipping was $4.42. Profit was $11.12 from the bins. Not mad at that. If you guys like that I'm sharing cost of goods fees, what I started it, the listing at, what the shipping was, and all that information, let me know. Or if it's unnecessary and you just want me to share the sold price and the profit, let me know. Because that would be like faster and easier. But if you guys want that information and appreciate it, I'll keep saying it for every item. So I'll say it for every item in this video. It will be longer. But please, please, please do me a favor. Go really quick. Comment below and let me know if you want that information in there. Because it would be really helpful for my next videos. So I know what you guys want to see and watch and learn. This next item was actually in one of my um, Instagram reels. Because I do thrifting reels where I like... Do voiceover and say, what am I finding? Then I put comps on the screen. Found this. This will probably sell for this. And I like put the comps. Really fun videos. If you want to follow me, it's Why So Thrifty Store on Instagram. I got these one day. I think I got a couple items that day. These were Diesel Safado Gray Distress Regular Slim Straight Jeans in a 3332. I paid $11.04 for them. Averaged out my cost of goods that day. And I listed them for $100, and with shipping, they sold for full price $100 and five, $105.45. Yeah, and shipping was, um, or fees were $12.45, shipping was $18, and profit was $63.96. And if you guys want to see what my screen looks like, let me know, and in my next video, I'll put it. But I'm looking at lists perfectly, and you can sort through what platforms. All the information is right here on one page, so it's great. I will say about diesel jeans, I don't pick up women's diesel jeans unless they're from the bins. Men's, I'll literally pay like $15 for the jeans. They always sell for 80 and up, it's crazy. This next item I got from my mystery box that I did a video about, uh, a guy named Tommy. I would say my friend Tommy, but hopefully like friend because I'll keep buying from him. But I learned about him from Hustle at Home Mom's YouTube channel. And um, I bought a box from him for like $200, a ton of great items. He had like Veronica Beard, everything. A lot of the stuff is already sold. I've made my money back already. And that was only like less than a month ago, I think. So this was a Patagonia vintage blazer. I was shook in the video when I pulled this out because I didn't know that Patagonia had like wool blazers. It was so weird, but cool. And it was vintage. I paid $12.59 per item in the box. 
There was 18 items. Um, I sold it for, how much did I list it for? I listed it for $199, but I was just being brave and like going for the stars. That's fine. I got an offer and it sold with shipping $79.85. The fees were $10.73 on eBay fees. Cost of goods were again $12.59 and my shipping was $9.64. So my profit was $46.89. Next one was from a thread of coach box. I paid $20 per piece, which was crazy. But I did sell the other ones for $60, $80, and I think like $95 already, the bags. So in thread of boxes for the coach ones, you get four purses and one accessory. My accessory was a wristlet, it was in perfect condition. So I listed it for $20. With shipping, it sold for $35.24. Fees were $7.50, shipping was $3.86, really cheap shipping. Um, so I sold, uh, my profit was only $3.88, but it's a give and take with boxes and I made a big profit on the other ones. Next one was from a flip lot, and if you wanna know what flip is, it's I've talked about it a lot on my channel. I'll link the playlist down below. I have like four or five flip videos, I think. I've, worked, I've done collabs with them. Or you can either be a pro seller and apply to get people's items and then get a percentage and then you sell it for them, or you can source for flip and like, upload your items and have people sell your items. So this was free, delivered to my door because it was one of the lots that I won. Coach, full zip around monogram, CC canvas wallets. I noticed with the Y2K vintage coach vibes, that's the first time I said vibe in this video, I'm proud. It's 12 minutes in and I only said vibe once. I think I said vibe once, comment below if I didn't. Um, but they do really well if the CCs are monogrammed all over it. Only certain brands do well with the logos all over it, and this is one of them, because it's like the classic throwback style. Sold for $47.25 with shipping. The cost of, or the fees, there's no cost of goods. The fees were $29.73. That's the eBay fees and what I paid them out. So my profit, shipping was $4.98. My profit was $12.54. But again, when I apply for these lots to get free inventory, there's like a Tory Burch bag in here that I sold for $300. You know what I mean? So these stuff are just fillers and extra like $12.54. Like if that was the only thing in the lot, I wouldn't get that lot, I wouldn't apply for it. But when you have a few items that you really want that are desirable and high end, you know what I mean. This next one was also in a flip lot, I never heard of it, but it was really soft leather and it was vintage obviously. Oroton Australia 80s brown leather crossbody bag with a metal closure. It had like a metal structured frame which was super cool and unique. Again, no cost of goods. It sold for $55.60 with shipping. My fees for Flip, where I paid them, and my eBay co my eBay fees was $27.26. My shipping on that was $17.21. It was a really heavy bag. And my profit was $11.13. Nothing crazy, but other stuff from that lot sold for a lot. This was also from a Flip lot, a lower end item from a Flip lot. It was a Vince Camuto, silver gold, sparkle, metallic, glitter, leather, cutout, ankle, booties, heels. <laughs> Sold for $32.65, profit was $4.20 um, after I paid $17.81 in eBay fees and flip fees, which is fine. I'm not going to say, this is the last time I'm saying this, but again, other stuff from that lot that I got from flip sold for really high amounts. I'm not going to say all the information for the rest of the items because it's going to be a really long video, so what I'll say is the sold price um, and my cost of goods and profit. And if it's the flip one, I won't say my cost of goods. If it's an item from flip, I'll say... Um, my fees. So this next one I have for a million years and I wanted to get rid of it. It's zero cost of goods because I got it so many years ago and never listed it. It's just been sitting in the bottom of a bin in my apartment. And it says cost of, cost of goods zero in List Perfectly because this is before I started using List Perfectly is when I got this. And I've been using List Perfectly for like I think like three years now or something. So these were a brand called Annie L. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think it's like French or something. Italian suede flats, ballet flats with silver stars and a bow tie. I sold them for $36.60. And shipping was $12.29, and after fees and everything, my profit was $19.62. So happy with that, I wanted to get rid of them. This next one, I remember getting for $19.99, like two years ago. Sent it into the Real Real. They fucked me over twice, I hate the Real Real. If you want a video on it, I keep saying that. Comment below, if I get at least one comment on this video that you want a video about my bad experience with the Real Real twice, then I'll make the video. So this is an Escada by Margarita Lay long navy wool coat. I said it was like a coat dress because it was like a long line blazer coat. It was really cute, like very like vintagey with gold hardware. And I put cost of goods zero because this was years and years and years ago, but I think I paid $19.95 or something, $19.99. So keep that in mind, that might be $20 less. But um, I sold this for $104.90. Um, I originally listed this at $1,000. 
I think like 1600 I don't know. This is like a million years ago, and it got like a bunch of watchers and never sold, and I finally took an offer after I got it back from the real real of $104.90. Um, the fees were 11.82, and shipping was 28, heavy code. So my profit was $65.08, and worst case, if I pay 20 bucks for it, minus that, but still good profit for something I picked up at a Goodwill. This next item I got from one of my favorites. My camera's about to die, so I think I'm gonna have to switch the battery. Hopefully I can do a few more items before it dies. But Pendleton Limit, you know what? I'll be back, I'm gonna switch the battery, so it saves this for sure, I'll be back. Okay guys, am I in focus? I'm back. Okay, I have two batteries that are like dead, so I keep charging it for 10 minutes, running out of battery, switching it, so I'm switching it like 40 times through this video, but I know if I don't do this video with the sunlight up and the window open, it's not gonna look great, and I'm gonna get tired later. So what I was saying before I was really interrupted by my camera battery, I think we just did the Escada coat, right? I don't know why I said right, like you're gonna respond because I'm talking to a camera, but... The next is the Pendleton Wool um, Flannel. I paid $20.79 for this, but I just knew they would sell. Um, I have four of these. I have two left. So if you want them, let me know. They're in my posh closet and eBay. It sold for $70.90. Um, the cost of goods was $20.79 after shipping and fees. Um, I made $32.39. This next thing was another Y2K Abercrombie piece. And I'm going to always pick up the Abercrombie pieces that look like they're vintage or substantial. This was a jacket. The other one was a leather jacket. This was a corduroy jacket flannel vibe button down. I paid five bucks for it after shipping and fees. It sold for $33.80 and after shipping and fees I profited $16.40. Next one was another one. I got this at the same Goodwill location as the Abercrombie leather jacket that sold for like $400 and something dollars. This brand I know of, I've had like leggings from them that sold for like $30 after being listed forever. But I know that this brand is really good and it's, it's, uh, it's an Israeli brand. And it has like handmade, like very soft fabric vibes. And this was a really cool lag and look dress with like drapey, like oversized pockets. And it was like an academia vibe. And I paid $11 for it at the same Goodwill. I went the next day after I got the jacket, literally two days I got those two things. I don't know if I'm making sense because I'm talking so much. I'm trying to slow down like that person commented. But the day after I got the Abercrombie jacket, I went back and I also only left with one item and it sold the next day. I paid $11. This sold for $111.60 including shipping and after shipping and fees, my profit was $73.48. That's great. This figs scrub bottoms I got when I got like seven pairs of figs like a long time ago, a few months ago. All of them have pretty much sold. I paid $4 for these. Um, they sold for $25.90 after fees and shipping. I made $11.33. Every time I say honey hole, it's from the same store. I love this store that I will never reveal. Unless you live in LA, you can come thrifting with me. Um, but these are Vans fuzzy corduroy shoes. And they were just so unique for Vans. And they were in brand new condition. So I did pick them up and pay $7.99 for them. They sold for $45.15. After shipping and fees, my profit was $20.36. This next one I got from the same store as the Vans. But uh, they've been in my death pile for like a year. And I finally listed it. Salvatore Ferragamo Vara layered canvas black tote with the metal chain and the metal chain style on that is Vara V-A-R-A -A, That's the style. I know some shoes have that style with the chain some bags. So that's good to know I paid $14.95 for this I sold it for $106.10 including shipping and after fees and shipping I made $52.98 in profit This next one I actually got from a friend Nicole State on Whatnot, she had this Whatnot show and I wanted to support, so I paid up for this. But I knew, I knew this was a gorgeous piece and I knew it would sell. And it sold internationally to an international buyer and that's what I originally thought it would. Um, it had that vibe that it would sell internationally. I don't know why I thought that. But I paid $57.47 for this, but it would, again, I wanted to support her show. This sold for $131, for like straight $131, um, including shipping. And shipping was $21, and I profited $24.77, but I'm happy with that. I wanted to support a friend, and I made a profit. So this next item was Buck Mason Jeans. This is a great menswear brand. Huge, huge, huge bolo. And um, I paid $10.94. These sold for $61.60, um, plus including shipping. After fees and whatever cost of good shipping, I profited $26.61. This next pair was my sister's, so I just gave her half of the profit. She gave it to me to sell. I sold it for $44.25. These were the Steve Madden leather boots. So cute, great condition. Steve Madden retails for like $200 something dollars for a lot of their stuff, if you don't know. Like, think of that when you see it in good condition and for a low enough price. These sold for $44.25. 
And I made 30 25 so me and her got about 15 each. That was all right. This next one I've had for years and couldn't get rid of. London Fog Jacket. I don't think I'll ever pick one up again. Yeah, I have cost of goods for zero because I got this before I started using this perfectly like the other one. Um, this sold for $43.20 including shipping after all the fees and everything. I made $14.44 and this was like the biggest coat, trench coat. It took up like a huge part of the closet in here so I wanted to get rid of it immediately. This next one, I didn't know if it was fake or not. It's the brand Kenzo Paris which is a designer but it might have been fake. It had a ton of peeling on it and I noted it. I got it at the bins. Looking back on it, I don't like having projects or damaged items so I probably wouldn't have picked it up. But it did sell after like six months of having it though, but it did sell and I spent a lot of time sharing it and sending offers. I paid three bucks for it at the bins. It sold for $56.10. I made $23.25 after fees as a profit and looking at that, the 20 something dollars in profit, I wouldn't pick that up again. Next brand is a bolo, but it will take long to sell. It's an Eskandar linen orange rust orange slouchy pocket sweater vest. I got this at an estate sale. I think I paid... No, I got this one at a thrift store. I got two other ones at an estate sale that I paid 30 bucks each for. But this one, I found in like the low end section. They didn't know what it was. So these retail for like $1,000 or more. I paid five bucks for it. I wanted to get rid of it after so much. It had a hole in it. I, was, I paid... Uh, uh, I sold it for $66.15. My profit after everything was $41.37. And I paid $5 for it, so I'm cool with that. Okay, now I'm going to the next page. This is the last, there's two pages of items on here. And um, this is the stuff that sold towards the beginning of the month. I am going to stay doing it um, back to front, like, like end of the month to the beginning, like in that order. This next one I've had forever. I've sold one of these sweaters from this brand for like $60, $70. This had so much peeling and a few holes. I listed it for $99. It was a Nadam. I don't know if I'm saying that right. N-A-A-D-A-M. Wool cashmere blend sweater. It was a men's sweater. Quarter zip. I sold it for $38.15. I was praying that they wouldn't try and return it. But I did say there was substantial peeling and someone still bought it. It went smoothly. They didn't complain, which was great. Um, I don't know what feedback they left me. I'll have to look. Maybe bad feedback. <laughs> no, they didn't. I have. I don't have any bad feedback. I looked yesterday. It sold for thirty eight fifteen. My profit was twenty nine eighty nine because I paid three dollars for it. I think that was from the bins. This next one was also from the bins. Paid two dollars for it. Averaged out to two dollars. It was the heaviest coat. It was a hundred percent rabbit fur, which is kind of disgusting. But it is already made and it's gonna go to a landfill. So it sold for, I listed it for $250, it was all rabbit fur, $250. Took an offer after a while of $85.55. After fees and shipping, I profited it, 40, I profited, profited it, <laughs> $49.05, that's a win. This next pair of James Purse shoes is when I went thrifting with my mom at a thrift store. How long ago was this? This sold like three days after I listed it and it sold on the 15th of August. So do the math. Um, but I listed these for 145 because the comps looked great. I paid $29.99 for these, so I paid $30 for these. Um, they sold with plus shipping to an international buyer in Italy for $151.90. My profit after everything was $79.28. And I was gonna put these back, and my mom knows a lot of brands because she was in fashion, and she still is, but she was in fashion um, of me like the entire time I was growing up. So she knew all the brands and taught me everything. That's how I got into this. Because my mom, so she was like, no, get those, honey. Like, get them, get them. Even though I was going to put them back because they were $30. But it ended up paying off because I made $79.28. This next two items came from a flip lot. Um, these were Magnani from Portugal. Echo Low Leather Perforated Lace-Up Sneakers in a 9.5 men's. And I listed these for $135. And I, I have a split with the client, like I explained. I'm not going to talk about that anymore, but I explained already. Um, they sold for $71.60 after fees to the client and everything. I made $13.98, but there was like five pairs of Allen Edmonds shoes in that lot that all sold already for like over $100. Great profit for me. And it was delivered to my door with zero cost, even if I made 30, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, still great. Next one was again a lower end item from a flip lot, not one of the money makers, but one of the filler items. Glad it sold, still made a profit. Sold for $31.25, these Sam Edelman flat sandals. And I made $4.98. Oh, wait, no, that was shipping. I made $10.71 in profit. Next one was from the Tommy Mystery Box of the Hustle at Home Mom's Friend. Ashley at Hustle at Home Mom's Friend, Tommy. I got the Mystery Box of 18 items for like 200 something dollars. $12.59 was cost of goods. This was so damaged. It had holes in the inner pockets. This is the only item in the box that was damaged, so I really enjoyed the box. I liked it. 
I can't believe this sold so quick damage. It was $31 and sold for $31. I made profit of $6.34, $6.34. But again, other stuff in the box. I have Veronica Beard item that hasn't sold yet, but it'll all even out and I'll make a great profit. These next ones were what I was just talking about, the Alum Ed Al one of the Allen Edmonds shoes, um, like lace-up shoes with a dust bag. They all had dust bags from the flip lot. Um, this sold for $111.60 after everything. I made $28.46 in profit, but again, it was delivered straight to my door with no cost of goods up front. And it was great to have those items in my closet because they brought traction to other items that weren't from Flip that I got full profit on and kept everything money-wise. So this next item was my favorite of the month before the Abercrombie jacket because this was before that. I went thrifting with my friend Teresa. Uh, she's a numbers geek on Instagram. She's amazing. Teresa Cox. She was visiting and we went thrifting to my favorite honey hole. I showed her the store. These were Red Wing Pecos Hawthorne Suede Distress Leather Boots. And these are such expensive boots. These I paid $24.99 for. Um, they sold for $330.15 in like three days or something crazy like that. Really quickly. After fees and everything and shipping, I made $220.79 in profit. This next one I paid $18 at Crossroads. I didn't know the brand until I saw this, but it felt quality. They were just regular sweatpants, but I felt them. And they were part cashmere. And they were from The Elder Statesman. That's the brand. Tie-dye sweatpants. And I saw a jacket from that brand after I picked these up and sold it that on Instagram that was like selling for like $1,200, so what? So I got an offer and accepted this and the guy didn't pay and I got another offer by the same guy and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll try it again. And he paid, thank God. Usually that's not how it happens, they still don't pay usually if that's the case and then you'll just block them. But it sold for $109.25, I paid 18 after fees and shipping. I made $67.94, we love. This next one's from Goodwill. Zadig and Voltaire is a designer brand. And this was like a raw hem, cute, like distressed flannel. How much did I list this for? 175. And I sold it for 65.80 on an offer from the same guy who bought, actually, I think he bought the sweatpants as well. I think that was, I know that one person bought two items. And I think that was it. So the second time after he didn't pay, he bought another thing. So that's good. Um, so yes, I paid $7, sold for sixty five eighty, and my profit was forty five ninety eight. This next item was from an estate sale that I went to, oh, mm, like, two months ago, maybe. And I went, and they were like, hey, this one other girl looking through this stuff, I was like, how much does this stuff cost? And they were, she was like, hey, if you tell the owners that um, you're from the Buy, Sell, Trade Facebook group, everything's free today, because we're just trying to get rid of everything. So I stuffed, like... 50 items in two backpacks that I found and I was like, I'm from the buy sell trade group. <laughs> I'm like an awful person, but also fuck it up. Like, you know, bad bitch status. Like take what you can get, <laughs> take what you have. Um, but they said it was free. So I stuffed all that shit in there and these were zero cost of goods. This was part of it. A few things have sold from that. These are born cork leather. And if it weren't free, I wouldn't have picked them up, but they sold for $33.70. My profit was $17.07. This next one was from a flip lot, the Lafayette 148. Oh my God, I'm having such a struggle today, people. Literally what just happened is that my battery was fine, but my memory card was filled up. So I just deleted some stuff and now I have like five or six more items, I think. So let me finish this and we'll end the video. But what I was talking about before is the Lafayette 148 coat. I got it in a flip lot, sold for $116.10. Uh, 10 cents, that's what I mean. Um, and then after everything, I made $27.46 after playing the client out, but didn't pay anything for it. This is for Stella McCartney Adidas jacket, and um, I got this out of Flip on, and I got this on uh, Whatnot at a show, and I paid $51.71, but I believed in it. I made I sold for $111.60, and I made $26.88 after fees, but I wanted to support a friend, so I still made a profit, that's great. Um, diesel shoes, these sneakers, I paid $9.56 for. They sold for $46.60. My profit was $14.60, and they sold them like a day, so I'm fine with a lower profit if they sell fast. This next one was Alice and Olivia shorts. I paid $2 for them at the bins, and they were in great condition. Sold for $56, and my profit was $38.19 from the bins. That's great. The second Eskandar piece to sell was from the estate sale. Or no, this was also from a Goodwill. I found like five of them. Um, $7.99 is what I paid for it. Sold for $113.80. This vest, it was a cashmere wool blend. I made $77.57 in profit. And the next one was from the bins. The last item of the month was for an Anthropology a glitter like cottagecore tie back apron with like pleats in the front, really cute. 
from the bins, cost a dollar, sold for $18.25, and I made $9.33. So yes, I'm so excited. This was my second what sold video of like this recent, like in this past year. So I'm gonna start doing them every month. Tell me if you like that I did a oh, separate video for Poshmark, separate video for eBay, and maybe I'll do another video for August that was every other platform. Um, probably won't do whatnot ones because the volume is so high on whatnot and I can't go through all those items quickly and there's not like a record of them. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe, thumbs up, do all the good stuff. So proud of myself. I'm a YouTuber in training. I'm saying all this stuff and not forgetting it. But yes, if you want to see my last video of what's sold on Poshmark, I will put that in the description along with all my other stuff, videos about Flip, List Perfectly referral information, my Instagram. Definitely go follow me on Instagram. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel and you're watching this video and you're enjoying it and you got this far, then what are you doing? Go subscribe. Here, I'll wait. Scroll down really quick and click subscribe. One second. Go. I'll wait. Thank you guys for subscribing. I love you all and have a great day. And I'm wishing you sales for this September month. My birthday is September 30th, which is in like 10 days. It's the 20th, September 20th, Tuesday is when I'm filming this. So I'm super excited. Um, what kind of video should I do for my birthday? Like a, a thrift with me birthday video or like something? I don't know. I have a whatnot show coming up and the date is, is before my actual birthday. It's a birthday show, so I'm giving great deals. That's going to be in the description too, so go bookmark that on Whatnot app. It's, you know, the live selling app. So yes, without blabbering too much, I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're my favorite people. You're beautiful, and I love you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.